Good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to Fern Valley Farms Beekeeping Channel. If this is your first time on the channel and you want to see beekeeping videos, you've come to the right place. My name is Vince. Okay, let's go. Guess what time it is? It's time to pull honey supers. Woohoo! It's that time of year. Everybody's asking for honey. It's that time. It's about the middle of August. We're going to get the supers off. In northern Illinois, up here, this is how I do it. I pull them about the middle of August. The goldenrod is about to start blooming. It's actually started to bloom a few places, a, a few of them out in my pasture. <clears throat> so, good time to pull the supers off and let them start bringing all the natural pollen in to replenish and get their hive set up for winter. Uh, I will feed these guys in the fall, but for right now, once the goldenrod blooms, they can bring all that in too. So, and second nectar flow is about to begin. We really never had a dearth, actually. It's always it's pre been pretty good up here, actually. With the rain, we've had flowers, we've had wildflowers. They're bringing stuff in. I even got my pollen feeder set up over there with... Uh, with dry pollen in there, pollen substitute, and they're not even touching it yet. So, anyways, we're going to start pulling supers. What I'm going to use, and I've never done this before, so you're going to see it for the first time with me, I'm going to use a fume board. I made my own fume board, so you can go to the video and see I made a video on this. Um, I built my own. If you like building stuff, it's a little bit cheaper to build your own. There is obviously felt on the inside. The whole idea behind this is you spray the felt, it's painted black, the sun will heat it, the bees don't like the smell, it chases them out. I've got Honey Bandit in here. I put it in a spray bottle. It'll be a lot easier to spray this on. Um, here again, I've never done this before, so we'll see. So you spray the Honey Bandit in, you put this on, wait about five minutes, the bees do not like the smell, they leave. So it's supposed to work that way anyways. I see all kinds of people doing it, so this is my first time. In years past, I just kind of brush them off or whatever, so this year I'm doing it this way. So we're gonna see what happens. So we're gonna do my mean hive first, and I'm sure you've seen some of my other videos on this hive. I've got three supers on here. We'll see what they look like. And then probably a week or so after they've all settled back down, after I've taken everything away, I'm going to fog them. And then I've got Apivar. I'm going to put Apivar. We're going to treat for mites. So, different subject. So anyway, i got my smoker lit. We're going to start right here. And we're going to see how this goes. And then what I'm going to do when I pull them, I'm going to put them in this wagon right here. Hook to my four-wheeler and haul them all up to the honey barn. So... Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to suit up for this one because this hive isn't very nice. So we'll see what they're going to be like today. Who's calling? One of the horses next next door. Can you hear that? <laughs> All right. Morning girls, Let's take this tower apart here. Whoa. Actually, I'll put you in the front of this so you can see how this goes. I am going to take the ventilation boxes off now because it's going to be, the nights are a lot cooler now and the days aren't as hot. Take our honey bandit. And here again, I've never done this before, so I'm learning for myself for the first time. So now we wait. They say you should wait about five minutes and push, should push all the bees right down. I said the black is going to reflect the sun. And then when I do put these bees in this wagon, I'm going to cover them up. I've got a, I've got a, a telescoping inner cover to put on or i got a towel so I don't got bees all over the supers. Let's see what this looks like. There's not, there's not a lot of honey in this top box. This 
top box ain't got much honey in it, so we're gonna just gonna blow these guys out. Any bees that are left in here, I'm just going to brush them off. A little bit of smoke. Oh, this box is heavy, which is good. That's what I want. This stuff was really nice. It doesn't take them long to get out. It's been like five minutes and I've already pulled two of these boxes. So I give, them a, I give them a pretty good amount of spray. Like I said, I've never done this before. First time. I haven't been in these boxes for a while. They are really propolized down there. A drone comb in the bottom of this. Come on, get out. Just brush them really carefully. Just scrape all that out of there. Get this over here. I think I see one mite actually. We are going to treat for mites. I treat for mites regardless whether I have a lot or not. I'm going to save that when there's a mite on that. On that drone comb. What I'm going to do is come back through here like another week or so. Let them kind of get settled in. 
Then I'm going to do an inspection here, see what's going on. They're actually being pretty good. This hive is usually really mean. A lot of bees, a lot of brood. That looks good. Looks great. Winter bees. We like winter bees. Okay, girls, I'm gonna leave you guys alone. I'm not gonna mess with them today. Today's adventure is to get the supers off. Close this back up. Ventilation boxes are staying off. Close that up. You guys get in there. Where's my lid? Alright. It's kind of nice doing this today because there's plenty of nectar flow, so there's not a whole lot of robbing going on here. So that's pretty much it. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do the same thing to the rest of them. You guys don't need to watch all that. I just wanted to show you how a fume board worked. It worked really well. I mean, I, I didn't even have to wait five minutes. It pushed the bees right down. And you could tell it really irritated them. And normally I would cover this up, but there's, 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 some, there's stuff going on, so they're really not interested in that. So any of those bees that are in there, I'm going to let them just kind of fly back out before I haul them back up. I might shake a few of them off. But I'm just going to do the, the same thing to the other ones. So anyways, that honey bandit is great. You give it a, spray that board pretty good. They go out really quick. If you got to shake a few bees, you shake a few bees, and you take your leaf blower and blow them out, you're good to go. So that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna, I, like I said, I'm just gonna do the same thing to two more hives, so uh, you don't need to see all of that. I just wanted to show you how that worked. Hopefully you liked this. Hopefully you learned something from it. Any questions, comments, please leave them. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I really, really appreciate it, and I will talk to you guys really quick in the next video when we're in the honey harvest, when we're in the honey house harvesting honey. I'll see you guys soon. All right, bye.